What is up? Aaron and Saria here, and today we're gonna teach you how you can get your workout in even with a busy schedule. So, have you ever heard of the term called eat the biggest frog first? Have you? Have the you? Con it's a concept of, yeah, eat, like do the hardest thing first so then it's out of the way. Yeah, so for one, if you're not consistent, consistent with doing your workouts, the first thing that you should do, whether you're, I'm not a morning person or not, is just get it out of the way. Because here's the thing, and you probably experienced it in, in a lot of other arenas of your life. The more you think about how you should do something, the more your brain is going to talk you out of doing mm -hmm. it. Just like when you're really tired and you snooze your alarm, you're like, I really need to get up. Okay, you but I'm back. so tired. Yeah, exactly. So your brain will talk you out of it if it has the option, right? Like if you do it first thing in the morning, it's almost like you have no way out, right? And it's a lot easier to get into a routine, okay, which we're gonna talk about in just a second, when you do something at the beginning of the day. This is the eat the biggest frog mm -hmm. first concept. You've conquered, right? And you've, you've done it, something that you will be thinking about all day otherwise, and you no longer have to think about it. It's like a weight lifted off your shoulders. The second thing that you can do is actually physically write it in a planner. How often do you actually write down when you're going to work out? And that's probably why you end up skipping it because you haven't actually put the thought into a priority. You just think, oh yeah, I need to do that. But if you haven't written it down, you're already less likely to follow through with it because you can't physically see it on a paper. If you physically see it and you don't follow through, kind of feel like a piece of shit because you're like, I wrote it down and I didn't do it, I didn't stick to my word. Right, like you have to treat it as an appointment, right? Regardless of you know whether you're currently working with a personal trainer or not, but that's why working with a personal trainer works for a lot of people because they are going to an appointment, right? It's almost like, you know, how many times when you had a dentist appointment did you actually miss it? right if you couldn't make it that day you probably had to reschedule and you can do the same thing with your workouts however treat it as an appointment because appointments happen it's like you're canceling on your workout appointment every day it's kind of weird right so the last thing that you can do is actually the form of fitness right so look when it comes to fitness i mean we're not going to get into that in too much detail but the fitness that the fitness um, form that you follow should always include all three elements, okay? And it is fun, safe, and effective. However, fun is the most important part with regards to getting you hooked, right? Look, the reality is, is that when it comes to your workouts, you don't just do an eight-week program and then just stop, even if you're just following an eight-week program right Hopefully now. Hopefully not. <laughs> right. I mean, the reality is when it comes to working out is that it is a part of your lifestyle, okay? Just like good nutrition is. You don't just do it for a couple of weeks and then you stop. And that's why it's really important for you to love what you're doing because if you don't love it, guess what? You're not gonna keep doing it. And if you're not gonna keep doing it, it's not gonna be sustainable. So you have to think about it this way, right? Like, is the fitness form that I'm doing right now so fun that me of today can see myself doing it for the next 10 years. If you've answered yes, then great, you're on the right track. If not, then you need to start like figuring out a, a different form of fitness that you would like more. Look, the opportunities are endless. And for as long as you're committed, you are going to get resourceful and do your research with regards to other fitness forms. And with time, you would find the one that you like. Yeah, it might be yoga, it might be weightlifting, it might be CrossFit, it might be Zumba, it might be Jazzercise, but you have to find something that you know you can stick to because the best workout is the one that you actually did. So on that note, if you love what we're talking about, if you have found value in this, you're going to love what I have to say now. We have an amazing gift for you free live training that we're actually doing on how to stop yo-yo dieting once and for all. 
in three simple steps. And we're doing an actual free live webinar training on this for you guys, June 30th, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific time. There are limited spaces. So if you want to learn how to actually get over the binge and then be strict and then binge and then be strict, you got to click either the link below or the link in our bio to reserve your spot. Now the spaces are going to fill up. So if you love well, anything that we've had to say, imagine an entire live free training. We hope to see you guys there. Click the link in our bio or the link below. Let's go.